it was the morning of September 24th, I believe it was a Saturday. I remember looking in the mirror and thinking that my hair was a mess and that I have to fix that. And, and I walked into the kitchen and poured my coffee and that was the last thing I remember. I walk in there, I saw her on the ground. Um, we called for the ambulance, the ambulance took her to Shawnee. They, they were lights and sirens the whole, whole way. Uh, we weren't able to, uh, to really keep up with them. I, I didn't try. They were asking questions about, you know, how I knew the stroke happened, you know, how I knew what time she had the stroke. They gave me the drug, is it it's TPA then? And after the scan, they put me back in the ambulance and brought me up here. I insisted that, you know, we come to OU. And he was like, no, you're gonna, you're gonna receive great care. And I said, I understand, but I really wanna go to OU. You know, I, I, I'm adamant about this. The stroke system is not just one hospital, it's a statewide uh, system and we, we rely heavily upon our, the referring hospitals to evaluate these patients, uh, see them quickly and initiate treatment quickly. It's time is brain and um, you know the brain cells are dying every minute that, that the, the vessel is blocked and so um, it's really a balance of trying to, to, to keep the, as much brain as possible alive and allow it to recover. She's so strong. I mean, she is the, one of the strongest women I've ever met. I mean, she's a leader. Uh, she's always so. She's always led. She loves her boys. The word comprehensive really uh, says it all. Um, we were really able to take care of all cerebrovascular disease here. Uh, we take care of ischemic stroke. We take care of hemorrhagic stroke. We take care of intracerebral hemorrhage. Uh, we take care of atherosclerotic disease, arteriovenous malformations and aneurysms, and um, we have surgical and endovascular options uh, available 24-7. It can happen to anyone at any time, straight out of the blue. Was, I mean, I did not, I had no, no idea that anything like that was could ever happen to me. I thought it happened to old people and people that had high blood pressure and things like that. I just, I had no idea that it could happen to me. It's hard to tell people, you know, she, she had a stroke, you know, back in September. And, you know, most of them, you know, don't believe it, how far she's come. But, I mean, right there is just, it's just amazing care that you receive here, you know. And, uh, you know, medicine has, has advanced so far. And a lot of that happens right here. And uh, so... I wouldn't want to be any other place if something happened to any of my, my family members except right here. Because of OU Health, I am able to be home and raise my kids, and I, I, I thank God every night for that, and I'm able to go to ball games, I am able to um, just go to church with my family, I am able to just enjoy simple things that I wouldn't have been able to. Yesterday was my youngest son's birthday, and I, I wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for the care I received here.